Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Easy and Inspire. In last session, we have discussed about registers. In today's session, I am going to discuss about counters. Before going to this topic, let's see all this one second. Logic circuits divided into two types, combination logic circuits and sequential logic circuit. Sequential logic circuits again divided into synchronous and asynchronous based on the clock pulse. So asynchronous logic circuits is nothing but latches. So flip flops comes under synchronous logic circuits or synchronous sequential circuits. Registers and counters are nothing but these two are designed from flip flops. So registers we have already discussed. From now onwards we are going to discuss about counters. So in counters I am going to discuss about introduction of counters and different types of counters, examples of all the counters and applications and finally I will give the conclusion. So let's see the introduction of counters. See here, I am going to discuss about introduction of counters in this slide. We know that counters are designed from flip-flops. Flip-flop is nothing but a memory element or memory device which is used to store one bit data. Registers are nothing but group of flip-flops which is used to store more than one bit data. Similarly, there is one more another important element in digital electronics that is nothing but counters. See here, the name counter counter. So, it is used to count the number of sequences or used to count the number of pulses. See here, counters are especially designed synchronous sequential circuits. These are used to count the number of pulses. So, counters are also known as timers. Counters are used to count the number of sequences that we have done. Okay. Counters calculate and note down the number of events occurred during the process. So, Counters are also used for frequency division. See this word frequency division. I will explain this later. This slide gives information about design of counters. Same as registers, counters are also designed by grouping of flip flops together. And we need to apply some clock pulse because these are synchronous sequential circuits. In simple words, we can define counters as group of flip flops to store the count number. So, this is nothing but a counter. Counting can be done in two ways. That is nothing but up counting and down counting. Up counting means we are counting from 0 to some high value. Down counting means we are counting from some high number to 0. We can observe up counting applications in cinema halls and any ticket counters or in any electronic voting machines. So, to count the number of votes or to count the number of tickets sold like this. Similarly, down counting we can apply in applications to count from high value to low value. So, in some races or in satellite vehicle launches, so we can use down counting machines. So, here counters have modes. So, the mod of a counter represents the number of states or the number of cycles of the counter. So, if we are considering mod 8 counter. See here, if we are considering a mod 8 counter, it means this counter is used to count up to 8 states. So, 8 states means from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. Total 8 states. Mod 4 means 4 states. Mod 10 means 10 states like this. So, how many states per n bit counter means for n bit counter, we can count up to 2 power n states. By using 3 bit counter, we can count states from triple zero to triple one. It means total 8 states. By using 4 bit counter, we can count up to 2 power 4, 16. Like 4 zeros to 4 ones. It means total 16 states. Up to 16 states, we can count using this 4 bit counter. So, this word ripple counter I will explain later. The mod of a counter is used to represent the number of states of the counter. Please remember this point. So, we are going to discuss about two types of counters in this counters topic. First one is synchronous counter. Second one is asynchronous counters. See, I will show here. So, we know counters are nothing but group of flip flops. See, like this, I am taking some group of flip flops. Consider I am taking four. So, in synchronous counters, 
each flip flop is having the same clock pulse same clock is applied to all the flip flops so it comes under synchronous counter but in asynchronous counters each flip flop is having different clock pulse so that is the difference each flip flop is having different clock pulse and how it is going to be we'll see in next slides this slide gives information about synchronous counters please remember this point synchronous counter the first type of counter so in this we have already discussed all the flip flops are having same clock pulse see here i am considering three clock sorry three flip flops like this and all the flip flops are having same clock pulse like this i am going to apply clock here all the flip flops are having same clock pulse so see all the flip flops in synchronous counters are triggered by same clock pulse that is the first point this means this synchronous counter depends on the clock input to change the state values see state how it is going to be changed state means nothing but output is changing from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 this is called as state change state change depends on the clock pulse applied okay now these are the features of synchronous counters the very first point is all the flip flops are having the same clock pulse so all the flip flops work synchronously with each other and we require some number of logic gates to implement synchronous counter we will see the operation of synchronous counters is very fast when compared to asynchronous counters this slide discuss about asynchronous counters see here again i am considering three flip flops like this in asynchronous counters please pay attention very very important point in asynchronous counters the first flip flop the very first flip flop is connected to some external clock pulse so but not the remaining clock pulse is applied to the first flip flop only the remaining flip flops all the remaining flip flops are clocked by or all the for this remaining flip flops the clock pulse is given like this see so each flip flop is having two outputs q and q bar so we can give q bar or q whatever you want so if you are applying q bar so always we need to apply q bar as clock pulse to the next flip flop if you want to apply q as clock pulse see q you can apply q as clock pulse so first flip flop is clocked by some external signal and all the remaining flip flops are clocked by the outputs of see outputs of previous flip flops that is very very important point in asynchronous you will get clarity in asynchronous examples don't worry so the best example for asynchronous clock pulse is ripple counter we have seen this word ripple counter so ripple counter in ripple counter we will see ripple up counter as well as ripple down counter another name for asynchronous counters is ripple counters we can call asynchronous counters as ripple counter the design of asynchronous counters is very very simple because only one clock pulse is required and it is having some less number of logic gates than synchronous see here it uses less number of logic gates to construct asynchronous counter the operation is very slow when compared to synchronous counters in next sessions we will discuss about asynchronous counters and types of asynchronous counters thank you